If your slider's cart is not mounted on the rails, gently slide it on. To join the sections, match compatible sides and lock the thumb screws. You can build your Atlas modular with any rails you have, and get the length you'd like. To tighten the screws, you may use a key mounted on the slider's cart. Connected sections will create a seamless track for your camera. Match corresponding side brackets to the rails. Note that there's one with the screws and one with the nuts. Tighten the screws on both sides of the slider. For mounting heads with a ball mount, choose an adapter that matches your head size and attach it to the slider's cart. If the nut of your head is too long, choose the one included in your atlas kit. Pick the one that fits the thread of your head. Insert the head into the bowl adapter and tighten the nut. Your manual slider is ready to operate. You can attach your camera and start shooting. The slider is equipped with two brakes. The top one is a parking brake. Use it to lock the cart when the slider is not in use. Note that the brake is made of soft rubber for securing the rails, allowing a slight wiggle when tightened. The bottom brake is the damping brake. Tighten it to create friction that smooths your motion by simulating a heavier camera. Match its tension to your personal preferences. We recommend mounting the Atlas Modular Slider by using quick mount adapters. Mount the self-leveling disc in the middle of each section and fasten the included hex screws. The disc will snap on the bowl adapter of your tripod. It's compatible with all tripods with 75 and 100 mm bowls. Use the quick mount screw to secure the slider on the tripod. Connect the slider sections. Adjust the tripod's height if necessary. Alternatively, you can mount a tripod on each connection of the rails. Use two tripods for the first section and join the following section with the first on one side and a tripod on the other.